All right, dude, I'm going to do this little video real quick so you can kind of see everything that uh, is going on with this boat. It's a 1999 Stratus Vindicator, 18-footer. Uh, it's got a Lowrance unit up front, color screen. It's got a motor guide, foot guide, uh, uh, what is it, like a 48-pound thrust. It's a five-speed and... Uh, you also got your your lights and your trim. You can trim the motor from here and everything else. And you got two storage dry dry boxes on each side for tackle. And you got a rod locker that goes right down the center and goes up to seven and a half feet rods, um, which is pretty much what everybody fishes. I guess uh, if you wanted an eight footer in there, you're shit out of luck. Uh, the windshields. They're removable, so if you need to just take them off and get them out of the way or just take them off and clean them, whatever you want to do. But they're, uh, they're all intact. I just put a new ram mount on here. This is brand new. Just put it on about a month ago. And this is the uh, console unit. It's also uh, the GPS on it. Then you got the N-1. All, all the buttons work. N-1 actually works. All this stuff works. Uh, it's got the horn recirculator for the live well. Uh, you can hook up accessory for anything. There's another light switch here. So you can turn the lights on the dash and uh, your navigation lights. Bilge pump, uh, aerator, you can have it on auto or manual. And your start key. Seats are in great condition. There's no rips in them or tears. And... Uh, Got a cup holder on each side and this center this one here this is a cooler it actually works really well keep that shit nice and uh it's a gps puck for the unit that you just seen on the console and you got these huge dry lockers in the back one on each side and in the center you got a split live well with uh I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but down in there, that black puck, that's an oxygenator. I just put that in about a month ago when I put that ram mount on and uh, hasn't even been used this year. But it's pretty cool. It adds oxygen to your live well. It's water activated, so you don't have to worry about turning it off and on. As soon as the water hits it, it automatically comes on. Uh, and then when the water's off, it turns off. Uh, Back here, you got dual pro chargers for the battery, for the two batteries. Um, and on this side, you got your starter battery. This is going to be replaced. It's junk. Um, I'm going to buy one probably at the end of this week or whatever. And this is your oil reservoir. You just put your marine oil in there. And then you put your gas in over on the gas tank. And it just mixes on its own. So there's like no pre mixed stuff. And <clears throat> trailers in good shape tires still they're about 50 percent on tread they're not in immediate hurry to get new treads on them but like i said the trailer's good it's got non-skid rubber all around the top of it uh, this is where the gas is and the breather for that um, this is the glove box on the passenger console got my power pole remote and whatever else kind of shit you want to throw in there 46 pound thrust on that motor guide so not the most powerful trolling motor but it pulls this boat around pretty good and i bought it brand new about three years ago um i suppose if you wanted to upgrade and you can go sky's the limit however much money you want to spend on it and how much power you want it'll be up to you and uh see if we can i know the lighting's not real good in here but i just put a new crank on here last year so this is all good to go um just trailers in real good shape too it's a little muddy maybe from the river but uh nothing a good wash wouldn't take care of but overall man the boat's clean and i'm just looking to get something a little bigger and a little newer but it's a great starter boat and it's in great shape and it's been in the garage the whole time i've owned it i don't leave it outside so 
actually has a boat cover that's custom for this boat. Uh, the cover fits over the Johnson 150, and I mean, it's built right in. It goes all the way up. You can leave your windshields in and everything, and it straps her right on it, and it looks good. Um, I put a stainless steel skeg guard down here on the bottom. It protects the skeg, so if you hit a stump or anything like that, man, you're that thing right there is uh, that's well worth the hundred bucks for that. Also, it looks cool when it shines all up, blinging. Got a twenty, I think it's a twenty-six pitch speed prop on it. Uh, this thing's gonna top out. It tops out with me fully loaded, about 68 mile an hour with another passenger, probably around 62. Plenty of speed for the lakes around here. And it runs great. I kind of babied a little bit, used premium gas, and, um, you know, ain't nothing wrong with paying a little bit extra for gas to take care of it. So I'll go ahead and get this video and put it on YouTube and send it out to you if you have any questions. Or if you want to see anything else, uh, just let me know and take care of it.